Hello and welcome to Take Time, I'm your host, Patrick Marlett. Today we're taking a look at a modern pilot's watch that nods its crown to the Indian Air Force, and more specifically, the recently retired MiG-21 Type 77 fighter jet. This is the Bangalore Mach 1. Before we get into the video, I want you all to know that this prototype is only being lent in for review, so a special thanks goes out to Niropesh and of course the Bangalore Watch team for sending this piece my way. Now as I like to do with all my reviews here on the channel, I'm going to start with the bad and move on to the good before giving my final verdict on the review item. So without further ado, let's talk Mach 1. The Bangalore Mach 1 features a 316L stainless steel case with screw down crown at the 3 o'clock position, boasting a 10 Atmos water resistance rating. Up top, we have a sapphire crystal with three layers of anti reflective coating, a matte black dial with C3 superluminova applied with what they're calling 3D numbers as they stand apart from the dial, and at its heart, we have a Salita SW220 automatic movement. Either the civilian model or the aviator, as we have in today, will come with a Pelican style tactical watch case and watch head with a seat belt inspired textile strap. The watch head has quite a lot of character, and that character is shared with the strap. However, the strap itself is very uncomfortable. I'm not the first to receive this prototype, so I expected the textile strap to have been more broken in. Despite that, it's still a bit stiff on the wrist. Nothing that time won't fix, and fortunately, it's easy enough to swap out with the quick-release spring bars. However, it would have been nice to receive an additional strap offering within this price range, either a nice leather option or NATO-style strap. Que sera. Strap qualms aside, the case of this watch is brilliant in both design and scale. The highlight of the design is the afterburner inspired crown, but as a whole the design is both sleek and rugged in appearance. The brushed body and top portion of the bezel provide that rugged nature, while the slim lugs and case, at 11mm thin, make this wear and feel like a much smaller watch. The only break we receive from the brushed features is on the sides of the bezel, providing a nice sheen of steel that helps make the bezel and dial pop. Speaking of the dial, the fin flash motif might not be for everyone, however this is an aviation inspired design. This is how I like to see the composition of a dial like this done. Branding at the 3 o'clock alongside day and date, with text opposite at the 9 o'clock position. As we've spoken about Christopher Ward in the past, this is the composition I wish their dials took on. It helps bring symmetry to the text along the dial and balances out the appearance nicely. Here only a few elements are disrupted, namely the 13 and 21 hour marking, but fortunately nothing is cut into or otherwise obstructed or distorted. It's an absolutely lovely design, with minute markings that stand tall along the dial's surface. Legibility at any any angle is perfect, with a handset that blends into the matte black of the dial. Lastly, the loom. I'm usually not impressed by this stuff. I generally prefer my watches without it. However, the loom on the Bangalore Mach 1 is staggeringly good. At first glance, you don't notice it, but not only are the minute markings 3D in scale, but so are the hour markings of the 24-hour scale. The luminance they provide is stunningly bright and even, and amongst one of the more impressive displays I've seen in a while. If you're a loom junkie, the Mach 1 won't let you down. Here is the Bangalore Mach 1 Aviator on my 7 and a quarter inch wrist. This is what it'll look like for all of your admirers, and when you are going to admire it, it's going to look a little something like this. Though I would love to see another strap option paired with this piece, the Bangalore Mach 1 is still an excellent value proposition. Salita is fast becoming the new standard of Swiss movement, and at this price, we have a great aviation-inspired watch. One with a large diameter without dominating the wrist, a superiorly legible dial at both day and night, and an overall smart aesthetic. Again, my name is Patrick Marlette, and thank you for the time.